All right, I'm just gonna record this because um, I'm not gonna, probably not gonna say anything about it by tomorrow. By the time I've actually uh, calmed down and um, like got myself together, if that ever happens. Um, but like, I've just been on um, the crib section for the last three days. Um, and um, there's like, there's an audit at the moment. Um, so that means we have to follow the menu because it's actually a menu audit. Um, now, they've only got one person in crib for like 900 people. Um, I've never actually really been on a crib on a large camp. Um, and like at the moment, um, I had to ask the guy on desserts to help me out like, because um, the store person usually gets the meat out like to defrost and stuff um but like um they don't get crude chef's chicken out um and chicken breast and like roast chickens are like one of the main things everybody eats um they pretty much smash it and you have to cook chickens every second day um and boil eggs every second day and like get all the salad stuff done the next day so it's like a two-day rotationing thing um but then today like Oh, yesterday, sorry. Yesterday, um, it took literally, like, I've gotten to about midnight to do the leftovers and get, like, crib topped up for, like, the Bay Marie's out in, in the, uh, dining room. And, uh, basically, it took me until four o'clock to get all the composite salads and, like, the, like, there was, like, feta cubed and like uh roasted chickpeas and like tomato wedges and just like a few bits and pieces like uh, corn chip salad um there was like a coleslaw noodle salad but um literally i had to bust through all of that prep um usually as well that would be the time i would normally do all the grated carrots the sliced tomatoes the cucumbers because we actually go through a lot of that every day um but like because i was doing all the other like the menu stuff for the audit um i couldn't actually get the salad stuff done and then i was struggling to do all the salad stuff like that i would normally be doing um because usually we just put the leftovers out the crib chef doesn't actually follow the menu um, and now I can see why he doesn't follow the menu is because uh, if you do follow the menu it takes like four hours of your day and we've only got like okay 9 p.m. 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. so it's one two three three hours is spent doing the leftovers and organizing and topping up the crib then you've got basically three hours of prep and for, and for one hour you're supposed to be like printing out labels, doing your paperwork, um, you know, you gotta make sure your cooldowns are done. It takes ages to write labels, like pretty much my hand gets sore from writing all the labels for all the leftovers and everything. Um, and then that doesn't leave very much room for anything else. And then like through service, I'm doing like the rest of like the, like um, all the salad preparation and stuff, but like grated carrots and stuff, but like it's literally it's literally impossible like you only really just get your work done like and that's like busting your ass the whole entire shift you don't get time for a break like you're supposed to have an hour break and then two half an hour breaks and a 15 minute break or something or a half an hour break two 15 minute breaks sorry um and you're supposed to i don't see where the time is going to come from for that um, so, like, literally everyone is, like, pushed to the fucking extreme, like, we're not getting our breaks, um, there's, like, way too much work for one person, one person feeding 900 people, that, that's a little bit ridiculous, I mean, I know the pay rate is $37 an hour, but, um, you can't just expect one person to do the work of two people, like, it's, it, you can't phys it's physically impossible to fucking do that and yeah and then we're expected to keep this place clean and stuff as well as like train other staff and get everyone else to be doing their jobs and 
dealing with people being bossy and stuff and like not doing not wanting dishes at the end of the day and they're like oh no sorry um no i don't want any more dishes like it's like dude i'm still producing food i'm supposed to stop production just so you have an easier shift what about my shift how hard i i fucking worked over my shift like busting my fucking ass and the whole time you're like literally working as if your ass is on fire like and it doesn't even amount to shit like by the at the end of the day like and like, I just don't understand I don't understand and the other guy on crib he was having three hour breaks like I literally dobbed him in last swing for having three hour four hour breaks watching the fucking cricket the fucking Indian team on cricket because he's Indian and the um, Indian security guards and him would like sit down and just fucking watch cricket and now because I dobbed him in to the head chef he was like oh I'll put you on crib then so this swing I'm on crib and dude I don't even have fucking time to scratch my ass like I'm not even eating like I'm just running on fucking caffeine here like and it was just it's just pulling the fucking piss that he could have a three hour break and just breeze around, no stress, like, it was just a big fuck you, basically, like, the whole thing is a big fuck you, and it's, it's like, the joke is on me, like, it, it's, I don't even, it's, it's just fucking blowing my mind, and I'm just sitting here going slowly insane, like, literally just thinking about it the entire time, like, how much of a fuck you this whole thing is like I just it's boggling my mind I can see now why the suicide rate is so fucking high in mining like I I just this it, I, I can't do this anymore man this is like pushing me to quit <laughs> the whole thing is just, it's just a big fucking joke like I don't understand I don't is this just me? Is it just... Does this stuff happen just just to me? Like, it doesn't happen to anyone else? I'm gonna stop the video there, because... Yeah, I, I think I've conveyed my fucking point. Anyway.